All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to open up the phone line so you can ask questions. Please don't call and say I've missed you, Dubans. Please don't call and say I've missed, missed you, too. Dubans. I love mm-hmm. you, too. I want you to call and ask a question, yes. all right? Because you have 15 seconds as soon as I open up the phone lines. Now, we got to the stage in... Um, the story the band just telling us where he was signed as an artist and uh, his brother was signed. Oh, so yes, and then, okay, but that's we were, what they said. We were talking. Yeah. Yes. So tell us the story from there. Oof. We we still did not agree. We went to do the uh, and I took permission and I said, okay, can I release the endowed with Snoop for Africa? Since I've already spent money now, you know. Yeah. And Kanye was kind enough to say, okay, for Africa, I'll give it to me. That's how you've now got the endowed with Snoop. You like the video, but yeah. Yeah. passport. <laughs> so we flew to LA and we did it and. Um, Snoop was so nice, came on set, it was great. We had a great time. He actually did all your dances with I, you. Uh, Snoop D or Double G. Although now I don't know how to call him because he doesn't change the name to Snoop Lion. So that would be a bit. I would just say Snoop LOL. But then we did the video, we came to Nigeria, released it, and then went back to the States to seal up the deal. And like I said, it was two different deals. For Don Jazz's production deal, was more straightforward, you know. Produce. But you, you're saying it's more straightforward. How come it's the one we're not hearing much about? Because it's not. It's produce, you produce. You produce. Okay. You, beat, you, you beat don't song. need to be. You don't actually need to be in the U.S. No, you don't need to be uh, actually to, to take control of your production deal. Oh no, you can actually produce from anywhere. That okay. You can, but you will have to actually. You have a quota. You have. You know, it's like a work now. You're employed to produce. Mm. You know, so they can call you and send you to produce. Do they pay a you? salary or do they pay? Per production they use. I don't know much about the. I actually I don't. Uh, I know much about the contract. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to talk about the <laughs> yeah. contract. But All right. Okay. I, but I, let's I talk about as yours. a producer generally. You probably just if you're signed to someone and mm-hmm. this person signed you, it probably give you some kind of advance or whatever. So you work whatever whatever you do, you get a certain percentage that goes to the person like a normal business, you know. So you're signed to Good Music for one year. Mm. Um, and then I started talking about my deal. All right, it is 96.9 Cool FM. Still the band with us in the building. And he's telling us about life with Kanye West. Now, how do you... You see, when I had Brimo here the other day, Brimo told me about how he lived with M.I. and all that at his big bros. Now, you tell me about Kanye. What's your personal relationship like? I don't live with the guy. No, no, no. Did you uh, live with him? No, <laughs> I don't live with him. Although I've heard some people say, I, I passed through some social something. It's very good that I'm not really that... Um, engage on that social something because if I engage you people eh, the way I perform eh, I'm a run down <laughs> but I don't want to always say that some people say this that let me tell you something it's a business yeah um, I'm not but are you guys friends what would you call friends like like I thought I had friends before hmm. nine years look at what happened to me so it's very hard for me right now to and and I, I saw that you were very passionate about that divorce yeah I lost the custody of the kids too. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from the only the one more I kids. Had. Apart from the one I had out of wedlock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, 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 yes. You know, but but for me it's um, um How do you feel about losing custody? Oh, I weighed my options. Yeah. You know, like I said, everything didn't come from me, so I really did what um would make him happy. Happy. Um so that I could move on. Yeah. And I'm glad. Yeah, glad. All right. Too glad. Now, um, bec- I'm asking about your relationship with Kanye because I want to hear about Kim. Oh, okay. Just go straight to the point. Ask, they, uh, have okay. you been in the same room? Oh, with yes. Kim more than once. Um, studio. I remember. Have you ever been London. alone with Kim before? No, I have not, not not alone in that way. But as in, uh, no, I have alone. not been alone. Have you ever been tempted? No, I have not. Listen, I'm a, I'm a correct guy. Have you ever looked at Kim and felt the temptation we feel when we look at the TV? Ha, my brother, <laughs> I'm feeling it for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Bakuni has actually hugged her. You have not hugged her. No. She. In Koja, you mean? Ah. Just for now. You mean you're in Koja? You want to tell us something? See, if if she was, is she is she tall? Is she as tall as you in real life? No. Is she? I'm taller than Kanye. Okay, but is she short? I wouldn't say she, she's beautiful. She's perfect. I don't. I don't know what you see. Saying. We see her on TV, oh, and we I don't s- know what she's when like. When you see her in real life, you be you just see the same thing. When I saw her on Momo Lokumu, I Kim Kardashian show. I just <laughs> say, ah, South of France. We're South of France, and um, it was at the Cannes Film Festival, and that's 2012. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Really here after coming from Qatar, and they were showing the film, and there were so many people. That Jay was there as well, so we had so many people. So me, I was just taking my time. 
watching. I mean, I'm very calm. It's Bankuli that knows how to shout out this shirt to say, Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, why are you? Why are you? Bankuli is very, uh, you know, he's very outspoken. So she was there. We're all on the red carpet taking pictures because we're all we all acted in the movie. So and was a 30 minutes shot you were movie. in the movie oh yeah the whole good music cross summer that's the name of the movie oh. and um and it's more like, it's a musical movie and it had track one lamborghini Messi. and in the movie we were all arm robbers and went to steal from some king arab king in qatar yeah and we had this porsches chasing us it was such a great experience but the lead actor was kid kudi yeah and, and we were just his friends that you know so he now went into some love it was a it was a love story and it was so nice and then at the premiere we had so many people then all of us that we were in the movie we were standing on red carpet taking pictures and then Kim was with Kanye and that was like the second time I saw her. that was like, and I saw her well on the red carpet I'm like yeah <laughs> <laughs> how are you Zibidilili you are brother me. you wanted to eat the meat no? the elders eat let me tell you something I'm a correct boy I just appreciated the elders meat <laughs> I did not even think it. I just did you try to taste? Taste what? Taste when I ever collect my album, I just <laughs> relax myself. I don't say I don't even mention a name to him. There's no need. As far as I'm concerned, she's not there. But as now, now, really now, you see what we hear from we, we, we hear that Kanye is very protective of his women. We saw that with Amber Rose. Is he like that? Would he allow you to walk up to her and say hi? As hey, oh, this is my uh, uh, Nigerian. Well, the, the little that I saw of Kanye is very calm. A lot of people are just um, saying something else, and I don't think. Kanye will need to overprotect someone like him because mm. I think they already know they're, they're mature, they know what they want. And you were talking about Jay, you actually saw Jay. What's yeah. it like to relate with Jay? Oh, Jay Z was very calm. Actually, I actually saw this on his wrist first before I got mine. Before he went to get yours. Yeah, so he was very calm and and there's a no stress. Is he really close to Kanye like the, what we see? Are they like yes. brothers? Yes, yes, they are like brothers. And in fact, I was, uh, I was privileged to actually. I think this opened my ears to and my eyes to a lot of things. We were in the studio last year when they almost finished the album and Don Jazzy too was there, Evankuli was there and Kanye was not satisfied with the album. And Kanye said, I think we should have, you know, 10 great songs. This was what the throne was supposed to come out in June. You know, they mm-hmm. keep moving in. Mm-hmm. Kanye said, no, we want to add to it. And Jay was calm. Jay was like, okay, I trust you. I produ- you are the- if you want to take time, tell Dev Jam you can take time. But there was a little argument from... Tata, I think Kanye, Jay's friend. I was like, no, Kanye, you are just too this thing. You want, to. and they were really arguing like buddies, and I loved it because usually sometimes when I'm working in the studio, you know, I always like to respect the producer mm-hmm. that I'm working with because I know he's one saying it. But it wasn't like that. There. Like it was a healthy argument where even Jay, because I want to press this button here, yeah. and then say, okay, press it. And I'm so glad that Jay agreed because after that is when I had niggas in Paris. Mm, okay. After that, is when I heard yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so since then I knew that okay. So even this music creation, uh, it takes a lot of guts. You can actually just drum, do rub, in the words rubbish. And if you believe in that rubbish, that is the one. That's what would happen. Yeah. If you know. remember that Pharrell song with Snoop Dogg, it was and I spoon now. Yeah. So it depends on how you see yourself. Like music is very spiritual and um, and it's very. I believe it's it's a way of life. So. I like the fact that they have that. So they're very calm, very respectable. Jay is very respect. Respects everybody. Big Sean, everybody. Even wants to respect him. So everybody in America is different. Everybody what about Beyonce? Did you get to meet Beyonce? No, not yet. Ah, okay, I'm, that's I, like there's a plan to no, that no, one. No, uh, <laughs> there's, there's no need to plan. We are family. We are family, <laughs> family we yeah. together. Now we want to something. A lot of people are saying that you left your kingship in Nigeria mm. to go to the U.S. to become a prince. Hmm. What do you have to say to that? Did I change the crown? <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't change the crown, I only just carry my crown on my head and I moved. The only difference is that they that I've gone to now and they're like different kings. So mm. people are confused. <laughs> mm. But I'm still a king wherever I am. In All the right. world. Word to the haters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm still a king. It's just that you, you give what belongs to Rome to Rome. To Rome you know? yeah. So being in a different environment, being in a different culture, you got to relax first to understand and study. Like I say, check the perimeter. And that's what I've been doing. And even thinking that we're gonna i thought i thought it would be america that i would release my first album but after the, the label did the proper investigation and sort of oh uk well you are it's like your second home you have such a big fan base there they're loving one of your songs already let's use that and you know prior to that oliver twist had come out like six months in nigeria so mm. they say okay let's just use that and do it now what did you f- how did you feel when oliver twist was banned in nigeria but released in the uk and was such a big hit how I did you? I didn't even feel it was it banned. It was, or there was some when? controversy around it. Oh, 
Mm. Was hype. I don't he know was hype. Like you know, that's the problem. Please, please, for those of you on social media, if you really want to talk to me, look for TV or radio or something because I'm too busy for some things. You know, if I don't have something to say, I don't go to that <laughs> social media. And you people just feel like I'm going to social media to grab credit. Credit what? Credit what? Is it a credit card? card? Oh, <laughs> they do that. Oh, I went there. All right. Anyway, <laughs> if I do that, like, even the days of glow, I, when I was with glow, I did not. It was if we get the charity if we need to or something. All right, all right, all right. One more very important question that I have to ask you. Yeah, uh, there are lots of rumors about everybody in the music industry, Rihanna, Jay Z, oh, yeah. Kanye, oh. being part of a big Illuminati family. Mm. Are you part of that family? And is there such a family? Well, I don't know if there's such a family. I've also heard, and I would use this to clear you guys. You already even know who I went to meet to collect my passport to travel out of Nigeria, 2002 or one, Bishop David Oedekbo. The reason why I'm this successful is because of God Almighty, Jesus Christ. If you cannot understand my success or it's too fast for you, please do not just classify it as Illuminati because <laughs> it's very annoying and Man. God might strike you down mm. Mm. because you are taking his glory to another person and he will not share his glory with any man. As from today, as from today, I don't want to hear it again. I feel very insulted because you didn't say that yesterday when I, you know, won three MTV in a row, or you didn't say that yesterday when I did buy everything from this Nigeria. We don't be as you say, uh -huh. it's, the, it's when I now went to America, you think that I'll go and join something, but buy my run down. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back for the concluding part when the phone lines and Twitter will be thrown open. Debange on radio like you've never had it before. We'll be back.